Okay, I'm really excited about this one. A special package has arrived, and uh, I know what this is. So, for those of you who've been watching the Lithium Eon Capacity Cell Decker series, this video is for you. So, as you can see, these are made by Gel CPCB. Um, there's a lady who's been emailing me quite regularly uh, about my products and saying to use them, etc. And to be fair, they are very cheap anyway. Um, now, I've never done this before. I've created a PCB uh, using DesignSpark probably twice now. I've actually only got one fabricated, and that's this one. So this is new to me. And let's see what happens. Or let's see what they're like anyway. Um, the JLC PCB website as well is, is really good. I'm very impressed. There's a section where you can monitor the progress of your order. And to some extent, there's some check-in facilities on there too. So it is quite cool. Anyway, let's see if I can open this. With, uh, with a pair of snips. Yeah, could've, I could have done a bit better really. Could have got a knife, but whatever. So, JLC, PCB, prototype PCBs for only $2. Wow. Wow, here they are. My own PCBs. Okay, so let's look at one. I'm actually very, very impressed with the quality. It looks it looks very very professional the um, the traces look good the text looks good the precision is very good look at this so that's the PCB um, for my project and um, let's, let's just test it out by putting a few pieces in and see what it what it looks like. So there's there's a resistor in there. Wow, how cool is this? Take that back out. And yeah, these are from JLC PCB. Um, they shipped them over here in a couple of days as well. Um, on the website, you can actually see the progress of your order. And um, yeah, they don't mess about with shipping. They ship them over really really quickly. Um, so we've got to speak to the MOSFET. I'm going to get, put some headers in there. Um, let me see if I've got any headers. Uh, where will I find headers? Here, I think. I don't actually know if I've got any. I've got some of these little four four pin ones. Yeah, so I'm going to put them in there like that. Just so I can change the Arduino if I need to. Space for resistors. Move this out of the way. Space for the buzzer there. Space for more wires that are going to go up towards various pieces, various parts of the checker. Ah, now this I wanted to check this USB connector. Um, so USB connectors. Where would that be? In this one. There's one. Let's move that out of the way. So what I was thinking is this could go in here like this. There we go. Just like that. Then this would stick out the box or whatever. So, um, here's the lithium ion cell capacity checker. And here's its PCB. And um, I'm very, very impressed with the quality. And uh, I'm very impressed with JLC PCB too. But... I've made a mistake and um, can you guess what it is? Yeah. Uh, so basically the idea is you push that in there like that and you come to the other side and solder it but there are no pads. Um, and I think that is because I've asked for a single layer board I think anyway, and not double layer. So that's really a shame. But um, it doesn't mean they're useless. Uh, you can, I can still use them, but it's just a little bit more difficult. That's all. So um, let me zoom in, and I'll show you what I'm gonna have to do. Is this gonna focus? No, it looks like it's not. There we go. So yeah, it's not ideal. What I would have done is push the components through, turn it around, and solder it at the other end. But of course, I can't do that. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'll push them up slightly so they hover, then solder them to these little pads here. So I'll basically put the soldering iron through there and solder them hovering up. Now stuff like um, the resistors, wherever they are, where's the resistor gone? 
here. Stuff like this isn't isn't a problem because if I just take this out and show you, I push the resistor in and push the resistor in there. Kind of like this if it'll go in. And can I push that in a bit more? There we go. And all I'll do here is uh, just push the soldering iron. Oh, push this over. Hang on. Push the soldering iron to that tip there, and it will it will touch the pad, so there won't be a problem there. So it's not a complete loss, uh, but it's just awkward. That's all. So um, yeah, I think I'll start to put some things together now, and we'll see what happens. So that's going to go in there like that. Obviously, it'll have to hover. So we've got the resistor in there. Let's put another one in. So this other one. Load resistor 2, I'll put that in as well. So that's in. So I've got the two resistors in. Two load resistors. Got that thing in, so I need 5k resistor. So I need a couple of 5k resistors. 5k, where are 5k? in this box so 5k what are these 4.7 um, 4.7 yeah 4.7 will work so um, yeah I could do that couldn't I and of course what I'd have to do is just solder the top of the the pad so yeah I'll put that in there like that Let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go, and I need a few more resistors. And let's keep them the same, so I'll put that side in there like that. Yeah, so uh, so probably what I'm going to do with these, I've got 30 of these boards, and they're not ideal, but I don't really need 30. But at the same time, I don't really want to uh, pay to get rid of them. So what I'll probably do is I'll pro probably put them on eBay and sell them, um, you know, for postage plus like a pound or whatever to cover costs. And then you guys can have them if you if you want to play about with them. You can. Um, anyway, so let's carry on. So I need a capacitor. And I can't remember what, what capacitor it was. Was it? Ooh, I can't actually remember. But let's have a look what I've got here. It doesn't matter too much anyway. Um, so what have I got here? 6.3 volts, 470 microfarad. That will probably do. So push that in there. Like that. Now, of course, I can't go too crazy with this one because otherwise I won't be able to get to the pad. So, so I'll do it like that, I think. And then when it's soldered, I'll bend it over. So let's just push this over this way. Of course, when I solder it, I'll, tr I'll uh, trim the leads off. So when I solder that, I'll push it back up. Um, this thing we know about, I've got to keep it like that and then solder it. So what else? We need 10K, 10K. Where are my 10K resistors? Yeah, 10K. So how many of these do I need? I need one, two of those. 10k, 10k, let's push these in too, okay so there's one of them in, the 70 ohm, there's a 68 ohm that'll do. 68 ohm. So that goes in the red like that. Then we've got the 150. So, 150. See if I can find that. 
160 ohm, but they're massive ones. <clears throat> hmm, where will I find one of these? 150 ohm, that's 470. 120. 220. 270. These values don't have to be spot on anyway. I mean, with, with certain ones, they do have to be spot on, but with, um, with most, it doesn't really matter. We just want to protect the resistors, that's all. Uh, so I can't really find any of those, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe 220. Let's have a quick look around here. What's this one? 300? No, I'm going to go for a 220. So... <clears throat> there we go, we've got two of those. Put these in. 220. Yeah, so it says here 150, and obviously in my design, when I uh, when I went through it in the series with all the videos, I would have said why it's 150, and it's it's basically to do with not burning the resistor out. But what it'll mean is the resistor will just glow a bit dimmer. That's all with 100, well with 220 ohms. But um, you know, we're not too bothered about that, are we? So that's what the front's looking like at the moment. And that's what the back's looking like. So, um, what's next? I need the buzzer now. So where will I find a buzzer? Um, buzzer will be... Let's have a quick look in here. There we go. Oh, now this one could be a tricky one. So the plus is there. Yes, this one could be a tricky one. How am I going to solder an iron in there? Oh, it's a shame, isn't it, that I've made it such a big mistake because the board looks so good. Anyway, the puzzle would go there, so all right, it's going to have to go the other side. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? I know, but it'll have to go there. The other components could go the other side as well, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to put the buzzer there, so it's going to be backwards, but you know, whatever. And then, what's next? The MOSFET. Where will I find the MOSFET? With transistors. Transistors, here we go. I've got boxes all over my, my desk now. So it was IRLZ. 44N, if I remember rightly. IRLZ 44N, does that sound about right? I don't know. But I'm going to put that in anyway. And then that will go in there. Like that. Oh, this is just falling out. Yeah, the IRLZ. And the idea was with this thing is I'd push it down. So I've got the uh, MOSFET in there. And I suppose let's go for it. Push it down. That will be okay, like that. And then, what have we got next? The cell holder. I'm gonna have to take the cell holder off, off the original project, um, because because I don't think I've got another one. So I'll desolder that, and you can see it's got these little tail things. So I'll have to take that off. I don't think I've got another one of these. The headers. Well, I find the headers. Here they are. Damn, how am I going to deal with this? So that thing's supposed to stick up there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to just squeeze the soldering iron in there to solder those. I don't know. Because um, the idea is that's supposed to go on there like that. Um, now, I can't put this at the back like the buzzer because then pin 10 will be on the other side. I can't tip it upside down because pin 10 will be there. So, whew, this is difficult. What I'm going to have to do is unfortunately I'm going to have to hover it over there like that I'll have to not not use the headers, I'll hover it over there it's pretty tight like that anyway, so that's hovered over there then when that's hovering I'll have to just put the iron in and solder just through there I don't know if you can see, I'll solder just through there so the thing's hovering and um, and that'll be good, so I'll get rid of the, uh, the headers, I won't bother with that and then next, 
uh, is the wiring. So the wiring, um, I've got a roll of that somewhere. Where's the wire? Wire. So the wiring, I bought this thing here and I'll just show you what it is now. It's a ribbon. And um, just open this out. Yeah, as soon as this thing arrived, my kids were wandering around with it. It's, they're quite attracted to it for whatever reason. Anyway, so this ribbon, I'm going to slice up as I need to. So obviously that one's that one's five five wires. So I'll split this. In fact, I'll do. I'll give it a go now and see see how it goes. So one, two, three, four, five. See, it slices up quite nicely. So I've got five there. Let's make this extra long so I can fiddle about with it later. So there's five. And then what I'm going well what I was going to do was um you know put them through the holes, solder them in. So it looks that I might be struggling with that now, um, given the current the situation with the PCV. But um if that's the case I'll just do it from behind. Yeah, in fact I think I will do it from behind because at least it will make it look a bit better anyway. So I'll put the wire in from behind, down there, solder it in, and the wire can come over the front like this. Yeah, let's pretend that that was the original idea. So there's the wire for that. Then I need a four-piece, a two-piece, and another two-piece. So I've got them labelled as well. So this five-piece one is to the, L to the OLED signal, and then I've got two to go to the power, and two for the switch and four for the LED over there. And since this is a test version I could actually just solder the LED straight into there. Um, yeah, and the switch actually as well. But anyway, I'm not going to do that, let's just do it properly. And um, let's see what it does. So there's the piece for four. Then we need a piece for two. Yeah, I purposely ordered uh, this stuff so that there's enough you know enough uh, wires in it to cover the whole the whole board with one with one little strip left which I don't need so there we go so there are all the little strips ready anyway to show you the problem you see this little Uno here you've got all the components on the top here and then through here you've got a hole so you push the components in and you solder the other end but on my ones you push the components through and there's nothing to solder on the back so you have to yeah you have to solder them on the front which you know whatever it's not ideal but um, I made a mistake so anyway let's get on with it